Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, 2014 gold and silver wrap up video. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to thank everybody who takes the time to watch my video and likes them. And I am grateful for everything I dig. I know sometimes I don't show it and I, I'm a little on the quiet side, but uh, I enjoy the hobby a lot. Alright, let's get on with it. Alright guys, here goes my uh, Washington quarters. i got a total of 33 of them. And seven of those have mint marks. So I'm going to pan over these real quick. Let you see them a little bit. Alright, moving on to the ones that have uh, mint marks. You got a 1950D, 52S, 53D, uh, three of them, a 58D, and a 60D. I think last year I got around, around the same amount of quarters, maybe a couple more. Uh, here, I'm going to show this too. I don't know how good it's going to come in. This is the uh, 1787 New Jersey Copper. This is my oldest coin that I found this year and my oldest coin since I started detecting. I never found a large cent. Hopefully I can get one this year. Alright, moving on to uh, Mercs. Okay hey guys, here goes all my Mercury Dimes. I got 86 Mercury Dimes this year. Um, pan over them so you can see them all. A lot of Mercs this year. Not quite as many as last year. I got 96 last year. Here goes the ones that have mint marks. I got a 16S, 23S, 25D, 26D, uh, 39D. I got a 41D, 41S, 42D and S. I got a 43D, two 43Ss. I got a 44 D and S. Here is another S. 44 S. Uh, here goes the uh, key date 1921. It's in uh, EF condition or XF. It's a great coin. It's my most expensive find for the year. This could range anywhere from uh, probably like three to five hundred dollars. So that's a cool coin. It's my favorite find of the year. All right, now we're gonna move on to uh, Roosevelt dimes. All right, guys, here goes my Rosies. I got a total of eighty-three this year. I think last year I got a little bit over thirty. So my. Uh, Wheat to merc mercury ratio was pretty good. I only was off by three. Pan over these ones. There goes the mint marks. I got a 47 D and S, a 50 D, 51 S. I got three 53 D's, uh, two 40, I mean, I'm sorry, 54 D's. I got a 54 S, two 1956 D's. Uh, I got a couple 58 D's, 60, I mean, uh, 59 D, 60 D, 61 D, 62 D, a bunch of those. And 363D. It's 
So a lot of rosies too this year. There goes my uh, war nickels. I got six of them this year. Uh, the first one's the first year, 42. And it's probably the best in the best shape. So six uh, war nickels this year. Okay, moving on to my half dollars and older coins. I got... A 43 Walking Liberty, and I got a, it's a Philadelphia. I got a 46P. I got a 61P Ben Franklin. 64 Kennedy. And a 69D 40% Kennedy. Okay, I got, here goes my uh, older quarters. I got a 1914D Barber Quarter. Only got one of these this year. Don't find too many Barber Quarters. I got three no date standing liberties. One got a D mint mark. And the last one here is a 26 Philadelphia. Alright, now moving on to my uh, Barber Dimes. Alright guys, I got nine Barber Dimes this year. Uh, the first one is a 1900 Philadelphia, 03 Philadelphia, there's a 1908D, goes a 09 Philadelphia, 1912D, Another 1912 Denver Mintmore. I got a 14D and 216 Philadelphia's. Okay, guys, here goes my uh, silver rings. I got six silver rings this year. The third one there got a uh, rose design on it. This one's a uh, religious ring. And the last one's a bu buckle ring. Got a bunch of uh, stones in there. This is a ring too, but it's not full. I mean, it's full, but it's not bent into the shape of a ring, so I'm not going to count it. There's a little dolphin. Focus. It's marked 925. There goes a piece of a bracelet. It's marked Sterling. There goes this uh, cool pen. Has a leaf on it and two pieces of uh, silverware. It's probably a bad choice putting this uh, black uh, tablecloth down. It's not focusing real good. All right, so that's all my. Uh, rings and a couple other uh, sterling items. Guys, here goes a Native American sterling bracelet. It's broken half. There's uh, the one piece I found about 30 yards away from the other piece. I, I think the lawnmower might have hit it. But it's still it's one of my favorite finds of the year. There's a salt and pepper shaker lid and some kind of brooch. 
it's not Mark, but I tested it in Sterling. Some are awesome. Okay, guys, here goes uh, two Sterling crosses. This one here is huge. It's as big as my hand. It's almost an ounce. It's marked uh, 925. And this one here is like a, a rosary. It's also marked Sterling on the side somewhere. Right there. Alright, get a zoom. And here goes uh, it's a recent find. Zoom. Mother Sterling Cross and Chain. Sterling Creed. Uh, the only thing that's fake is the little loop that holds the chain and the um, charm together. Chain's uh, Sterling as well. <clears throat> you guys, uh, Tiffany and Company. Found that earlier on in the year with the DFX. Here goes a uh, Figaro chain. Or bracelet, I'm sorry. I got this nice, like, it's like a uh, rope bracelet or something. There's a couple other little pieces of chain, both sterling. <clears throat> and here goes my uh, gold for the year. There's a nice 14k cross. Found that on December 30th, right at the nick of time. And I actually forgot about this. This was a, my first video of 2014. This uh, gold 14 karat chain. It was in the hole with a zinc penny, a nail, and a wheat penny. So I got lucky on that one. Alright guys, that's all my finds for uh, 2014. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, there's more to come in 2015. I'm going to try looking for some new spots. Maybe get a new camera here soon. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, later.